What are factors? What are factors? Dexter, what do you remember about factors? Um, factors are... Uh... And that's okay. We haven't done this for a while, but it will appear again and again. What are factors? Things that go into itself. Well done. Like... Numbers that can divide. Well done. Into 20 and 10. What are the numbers that can divide into 20 and 10, Dex? 1, 2. So 1 and 20. 2 and 10. What about 3? Uh, no. 4? Yeah. And 5? Is there any other numbers? That sounds, sounds about right, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what about the number 10? Maya, what are the factors for the number 10? One and ten. Well done. And what else? Two and five. Okay, that seems to be it. Now, which number is the highest common factor in both? Dexter. Um, is it... Um... What can go into the both, but it's the highest factor? Ten. Well done. Ten is the highest common factor. This is what this lesson's about. It's finding out the highest common factor. Maya, do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah. So five appears in this and this, but so does 10. And we've got to identify that. Oh, cool. 10 is the highest, but it also appears in this too. That's what this topic is about. It's all about finding out the highest common factor. Okay. So, and this topic is all about factorizing. Okay. So let's go through a question that is going to involve factorizing. All right. So factorizing just means including the brackets. What do we do before? What was that all about? What do we do with the brackets there, Dexter, in the previous questions? Um we multiplied Yes, them. yeah, we did. And we got rid of it, right? This topic is all about putting the brackets back in there. Okay, cool. And we're going to be factorizing. So for example, okay, let's start off with something straightforward. Okay, 2x plus 4. Okay. I want you to have a go at this question and see if you can remember from last year what you know about factorizing. What I can say hint here is find the highest common factor for both 2x and 4. What's the highest common factor? What could you say, Maya, is the highest common factor for 2x and 4? Um, 8. 8, okay? What you're doing there, and I can see, is you're multiplying the numbers. What is a factor? Let's go back to the definition for a factor. What is a factor, Dexter? Um, it's numbers that can divide. Correct. Numbers that can divide in those terms. So the factors for 2 and 4, that's the highest, but also the common. Maya, what would be the common factor for 2x and 4? 2. Well done. Great work. So equals 2. Then you write the open brackets. 2 times something becomes 2x. Maya, what could that be? Um, x. Well done. Then we're going to write down the plus. 2 times something becomes 4. Dexter, what's that going to be? 2 times 4. 2 times 4 becomes 4? Um, 8. 2 times something becomes 4. What could that be? See here? 2 times something becomes 4. 2 times 6. Well done. Great subjects. So when you do this question, you're going to include the brackets. So that is your final answer. Okay? Factorizing means finding the highest common factor what Maya's just done, well done. She said two is the highest common factor. You've taken it out. Then you're finding out what is common in both two. So two times something becomes two X, two times something becomes four. What do we do in expanding? 
Maya. What do we do for x? So if I said expand this, what's going to happen? What do you draw? Um, you do 2 yep. times x plus 2. So 2 times x, and then what else? 2 plus times 2. two. You have to do 2 times 2 as well, right? So the 2 is multiplying with everything in the brackets. What's yeah. that going to be? 2 times x plus 2 times 2, which is 2x plus 4. Yeah. So what do you notice? So what do you notice here about expanding and factorizing? Um, factorizing is like the other way around. Correct. Like... Well done. Okay. Factorizing is the other way around. So factorizing and expanding are the complete opposite. When you expand, you break the brackets. You're going to get rid of the brackets. When you factorize, you're going to include the brackets. Okay, let's have a go at another question. All right, let's go with 4x plus 32. I'm going to give you about two, about a minute to have a go at that question. You will need to factorize this. Okay, 4x plus 32. You're going to be thinking about the common factor, okay? Two is a common factor. Is that the highest common factor, Maya? Um, no. What's the highest common factor between 4x and 32? Um, is it 8? Okay, can 8 go into 4? No. No. It's, it's four. Correct. Well done. And that's going to take time. It'll take time. But you're doing really well. Okay. So let's take four out. Four. Open brackets. Four times something becomes 4x. What's that, Dexter? Uh, four times x equals the x. Correct. So you're going to put the x there. Four times x. Then four times something... So you put the plus there, because there's a plus. Dexter, what's 4 times something becomes 32? Um, 16. So 4 times 16 is 32? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Oh, no. Um, uh, not four, uh, 8. 8. Well done. Great work. So your final answer is going to be 4x plus 8. Okay. How do you check if this is the same as that? What would you do, Dexter, to check if this is actually that? Uh, expand. Well done. So you understand the concept. Great work. So you expand it. Okay? So that is what this exercise is on. Okay? So five. Um, this next exercise is on that, factorizing, okay?